Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new League Racing video. This is PSGL round 4. However, this is round 2 for us as we've missed two races. Zandvoort with a broken pedal, so didn't get to start the race unfortunately. And we missed the last race around Hungary. And the first two races got cancelled, uh, even though we did drive them. Uh, the results were declared non-acceptable because the tire was different, even though we were racing on equal cars. So. Um, this is round two for us and we are quite far behind in the championship simply uh, because we have missed those two races and Barry Borman did very well in those races as you can see right here he is leading with 44 points and we only got 12 points because we finished second in Brazil behind Barry and this is our second race today around Silverstone uh, probably my worst track historically seen on the F1 games um, Average qualifying position of I think like P14 in F1 Esports and I've been practicing a lot for this track on this game but also on F122 I have practiced a lot uh, around this track simply because I know it's my weakness and I want to turn it into one of my strengths so I've been practicing like crazy for this track uh, in the past one and a half to two years and I hope I can do better uh, today in PSL because PSL is basically the same quality as our esports. Uh, we are missing like a, a few drivers like Freddy Rasmussen and Yoni Tormala today, but other than that, um, there are still people of the Red Bull esports team, for example, driving in today's league like Josh uh, Idobu. Um, and yeah, the wall grid is just filled with our esports drivers. So if we can do well today, uh, that means we can do well in our esports as well. So. Um, let's head into it or first Q1 lap here and uh, We're gonna go straight into it pedal to the metal a uh, little bit of a moment on the exit there as the grip in Q1 is obviously much lower than w what we will have in Q3 and We need to try and nonetheless nail it in one run So that we can save a set of tires and use two new sets in Q3 turn one looks good uh, Third gear through there trying to get the front tires to bite in to this low grippy circuit right now. DRS open as we head on to sector 2 at the end of this rate. It's a 27.000 here um, at the start of Q1. Nicolas Longue with a 124.864. Uh, then Marcel Kiefer uh, goes fastest, our teammate, with a 124.8. They all 124.8 at the moment. Um, I expect. Uh, that not to be enough to be honest to get into Q2 as Tom Manley uh, Red Bull esports driver goes to provisional pole with a point seven there uh, We try to navigate ourselves through maggots and baggots Wilson huge uh, To provisional pole the times just keep tumbling down and down faster and faster We're in a point seven one middle split and in the final sector you need to be doing around a low point nine low point eight uh, depending on your setup um, however, Q1 is a little bit more slippery, so we're gonna have to wait and see. A little bit of hesitation there from us in both the left and right, and the Lucas Blakely to pole position with a 124.5. We do a 124.764, and you can see my face. I was not very happy with that lap. However, I decided to stay in and save my tires for Q3, and we made it through by five one thousandths of a second. Um, absolutely crazy. Uh, you can see there are actually four one thousandths of a second to Patrick Seapots, and that was the difference between making it and not making it. Both Patrick and Thomas did not go for a second run as well, but the track evolution was just so big that we tumbled down the order so fast. So, Q2 here, uh, we've got definitely two new sets of tires for Q3, but we are planning on starting on the soft tires, and if there's no restart, then we need to try and make it into Q3 on a single new set of tires as well Which is what we're gonna try and do right here. Uh, this is our new tire run You do not have time around Silverstone to go for a used tire run at the start of Q2 and then two new set of tires uh, in Q2 um, Because the pit lane is just so slow and long that you lose too much time with that into sector 2 we go It's a 0.946 so half a ten faster than in the beginning of Q1 uh, so that's a good beginning there as Marcel Kiefer, our teammate, goes to provisional all in Q2 here. Uh, we are aiming to go faster, of course, 
as if we only want to do a single run in Q2, we need to get our lap together well. Um, because it just gives you such a huge advantage if you start the race on new soft tires compared to used soft tires, of course. Maggots and Baggots, much better this time around. So much more confidence as the car just grips up better. A 0 0.500 middle split. And that means we might be looking at a 0.4 here. And provisional fastest in Q2. Lucas Blakely uh, to a 124.503. All we need to do is a decent last sector to go fastest here. Again not really comfortable in this final two corners of the track um, just, yeah not great but we still go to Paul I myself Overson. Uh, we still go to provisional Paul in Q2 here only one run done which means new tires for Q3 uh, only Barry Bormand improved or went faster than us in his second run and Lucas Blakely you can see how close the times are he dropped to P7 in the end as he did not improve uh, on his second run in Q2 and we just stayed in which means we now have three new sets of tires for Q3 and only we're only gonna be using two of them of course but then we have one new set for the race and that's such a huge advantage as our first run in Q3 is done here with a 124.362 not very happy with that lap not gonna lie as Lucas goes 8 100s faster um, but yeah uh, I was not happy with that lap not not good enough in my opinion so uh, this second run is where it has to happen and a lot of people didn't only have one new set of tires for Q3 And that means a lot of people are gonna improve a lot and we have to improve as well. Otherwise, we're gonna be starting P8 tops with this lap. Maybe not even P8 through the first section we go. No improvement there So not a great start to the lap so far As Lucas Blakely is on a 26.902 in the first sector. We're gonna be doing a 904 So two thousands down as we go into sector two uh, which is basically nothing again. My last sector was not great So there's time to find there and we're just gonna have to nail it um, Because we've been dropping too much time every single qualifying lap we've done so far in this in those last two corners Just haven't been comfortable through there um, Even on my Q2 run when we went P1 by off then that last those, those last two corners were just not good enough through maggots and back as we go Barry Berman to provisional pole with a 124.250 and we're gonna have to improve um, Close to a tenth uh, on that if we want to go to a pole position. However, Lucas Blakely is our main threat. He is one of the few that has two new sets of tires as well. And we are, are not improving at the moment and only P8. However, there's still so much time to gain in these final two corners. And you can see so much commitment this time through there. And we're 8 100s up across the line. We go P2. After completely nailing those last two corners, I bottled those last two corners mm -hmm. every single qualifying lap in that session and we nailed it when we needed it the most p2 there 400s down on lucas blakely but um front row is all you need around silverstone even p3 would be good p4 p5 those are the positions you need to fight for the win and very happy with p2 shame we didn't get pole position just didn't quite get it together well enough to be fighting for pole position but very happy with that nonetheless all my teammates in q3 as well of course uh, Danny Bresne, my real life teammate, uh, P4, Marcel Kiefer, uh, P6, and Jake in P10, who did not get a new tire run, I think so, invalidated his new tire run. So um, that's the shame for him. However, into the race we go. The session got restarted. So, unfortunately, the huge advantage we had of being the only ones with new soft tires is gone because the session restarted. So, our Q1 risk we took is completely gone. Um, and yeah. Now everyone is starting on new softs, but into the race we go. It's going to be five red lights and away we go for round number four of PSGL. And it's a decent start, similar start to Lucas Blakely. And we're not going to go too aggressive here, just going on the attack to defend from behind because you want to be P1 or P2 basically the entire race. Um, other than that, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to give enough space to my teammate Danny Bresne on the inside there so he can get a better run onto this trade. And he did that up to P3. And ideal situation is that me and Danny get into P1 and P2 so we can work together from there. Uh, but that's easy said and done because uh, whenever I overtake Lucas, he will have DRS again. And that makes it so much harder to overtake, uh, of course, because that entire train behind us is just gonna be a DRS train. It's very tough to overtake in a DRS train. So, 
lap one here uh, a little lift through cops as the car is very heavy we are on dirty air and just not much experience with driving in dirty air around Silverstone in this game yet so trying to do, be a bit caref careful in this opening laps there's not much to gain here um, so yeah just making sure we're not getting any track invalidations uh, on this opening lap uh, we're not doing anything crazy or stupid like uh, those track invalidations or hitting Lucas by accident so a um, little bit struggling there in the last corner uh, I've had a lot of brake failures as you guys might know and um, I've Try changing settings a lot. Um, I had a lot of load cell failures earlier on. Uh, that seems to be fixed now. I haven't had any of those anymore. But now the rot is breaking uh, due to steel fatigue. As me and Lucas are swapping for the lead for like the fifth time this race. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, basically I fixed the load cell issue um, by putting in stiff rubbers, so the load cell or the wall pedal moves less. But now the rot is failing. And yeah, uh, it, it just messes with my head a little bit uh, with the braking. So I've once again reduced brake force. But um, yeah, when you are someone who comes from real life racing, it's it's tough getting used to it because uh, a lot of people will use sim racing pedals. Yes, huh? um, don't have this issue, of course. As we're boxing now uh, in lap 10 here for a new set of mediums. We're going earlier than Lucas Blakely and we're boxing at the same time as our teammate Danny Bresney and that's so important because we want to be leading 1-2 so we can defend from P3. Uh, even if that means we have to swap for the lead continuously. Um, as long as we keep the lead, we can battle it out in the last lap if we want, but we just want to be 1-2 um, and work together from here on. So, on to the new set of mediums. We could have done more laps on those softs, but again, threat um, from an undercut behind us and as I said we want to be leading 1-2 uh, together so out we go on a relatively important outlap but nothing crazy you know because uh, both me and Danny nonetheless what we really do unless we make an absolute crazy massive mistake are yeah. gonna be leading simply because the tire drop of an F123 is really aggressive which makes for really interesting strategies and oh, Danny. That is something we missed in F122. I want to use battery. Copy. So, as you can hear me say there, I won't use a lot of battery simply because I know both me and Danny will be leading the race. So, we might be using a lot of battery, but Lucas will close the gap again anyway uh, on fresher tires. And then we might not have the ERS to fight or defend. Um, but yeah, as I said earlier on, very happy with the F123 tire model because it allows for so many different strategies. Um, and I love it. It's great. It's much better than F122 and much more similar like F12020 and F12021. It's a lot of different strategies possible on F123. So I love it. Now, our teammate Danny Resnay behind us using the DRS to close in. Um, again, he's not using a lot of ERS as well because he has the same strategy as me here. Um, playing the long game and um, thinking about what is going to happen when Lucas is back into a net P3. Now, Nikolas Longe, however, in a net P3, potentially, depending on where the rest of the grid comes out. Um, he said P11, so he's had some monster laps uh, behind him, for sure, because I don't know how he managed to get himself into a net P4, actually, now. Um, Wait, 50. As you can see there, our teammate Marcel Kiefer setting the fastest lap. He had an incident in the opening lap, so he is, yeah really far behind at the moment. Is that Longe behind Blakely or is that Barry? Longe. So on to lap 12 now then. Yeah, um, zero risk check. Go to plan. Our teammate Danny Resnay going for the lead and yeah this is what I was talking about. We just need to keep swapping the lead uh, non-stop uh, in order to keep the lead and that's very important that we keep swapping around non-stop um, because right. leading around Silverstone is tough because there are two DRS zones that are quite powerful especially this one right here so um, you cannot really outpace someone that has DRS behind you because it's so strong um, always has been on F1 games again I'm using a bit of a battery there uh, because I saw Lucas being quite close behind Danny 
And I had to make sure that I was only letting Danny pass. So again, lap 15, here we go again. Uh, we are gonna turn on the DRS and get past our teammate Danny Bresne. Um, and up to P1 we go again, lap 15 here. Now, uh, after that I stayed in the lead for quite a while, simply because I, I think both me and Danny felt I had slightly uh, better race pace. Um, but that was unfortunate because I thought Danny was going for the move, but he didn't, and I made this mistake. I think in Bahrain on an earlier league race as well, um, where I was playing it too patiently and then uh, I want to stay behind P1 to get DRS in future laps, but then P3 overtook me um, and yeah, that just puts you in so much worse position and Danny did the exact same there and now he got into an incident as well and dropped to P5, so um, that's not ideal, just not ideal, <laughs> but, but yeah, little mistake from Danny there. Uh, which is making our life a lot tougher. And now we've got Otis Lawrence and Lucas Blakely uh, right behind us. And they are teammates. Uh, as Lucas slowed down a little bit there. I think trying to put us into a bit of an uncomfortable situation uh, there. Because he knows now he has the advantage of having his teammate uh, with him. Uh, the issue for him is though that we are splitting them. Um, and yeah, that makes our, our life slightly better because... Uh, that way I can at least still overtake Lucas, however you can see here he is slowing down in order to try and back me into Otis and that's just a, a smart team game they're playing right here, however we're gonna have to take the lead here because Lucas trying to back us into Otis meant that if we didn't, do not go for a move here we will drop down to P3 so we have to go for it here otherwise we will lose another position and we cannot afford that um, again the question is now is that tire advantage from Lucas gonna uh, kick in in this last lap? Because doing the soft medium and medium soft strategy around Silverstone is quite tricky on tire wear. And we might be struggling here um, on this last lap. Because our whole plan was to both be leading 1-2 me and Danny in the last lap. Even though we had worse tires, we could cover each other off. Uh, but that is gone now. And you can see I went wide into the right hand already. I'm trying to push. The full push. Lucas does not. But we... Do not quite have the tires under us anymore to build enough of a gap to Lucas, who has one lap fresh tire, but that one lap might just be enough as we go a little bit wide again. And uh, yeah, Lucas what? goes for a move down oh the inside there. Hit my rear. And we are gonna once again turn on the overtake button because Otis is right there. If we don't, then we lose a position to Otis again. Uh, we, we are forced to lead here into Maggots and Baggots. And that means we're not going to get DRS. And I don't have the tire life available anymore to pull a gap here through maggots and baggots. Uh, yeah, Lucas, you can just stay right behind us. Uh, even though he has the dirt here, I'm going to turn on the overtake button. But is it going to be enough? It is not, as Lucas has the DRS on this final straight. We're going to have to tuck into the slipstream again. And unfortunately, we're going to lose out to Lucas Blakely here on the final lap. And uh, this is the second PSGL race in a row. We are losing out on um, the final DRS straight. Um, and as you can hear me say that the tires were done um, on that last lap. I could not keep it on the road anymore. Um, very unfortunate. But again, we've been doing very well in league racing. We just are consistently finishing second. This is three races in a row now we've finished second. Uh, we have jumped up to P4 in the standings. Uh, Barry no points as he got a penalty in Silverstone so 20 points behind Barry now the championship is still on definitely even though we missed two races um, we're howling those points in if that's a word with two P2 finishes we need to keep this up uh, maybe finally go for a win again if we're becoming a little bit of a P2 merchant at the moment uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this league racing video make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys next time ciao yeah, yeah, yeah.